day 11. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I am focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, please click the video above if you haven't already or just check out my daily goals posted below. I wanna keep today's video short, sweet, and simple. It's the only way that I can uh, keep up with my accountability videos. I appreciate those of you who watch along. Really, truly, I think the only reason I've been able to post anything every day is because of you guys, honestly, seriously. So please, if you haven't already subscribed or liked or commented, please do so below. If you also have one of your own channels, please comment that below and I will subscribe to your channel. All about community here. So let's just get right into my mind. For today's 10 pages, we are talking about how we shatter our false beliefs. Whenever you have what Martha Beck calls a hell thought, first thing you should do is ask a simple question. Is this thought true? The second question she tells us to ask is, is this absolutely true? By putting the emphasis on the absolute truth of a claim, our brains are more likely to question it. And half the time, the things that we tell ourselves are false beliefs. Importantly, once you see through the false belief, you don't go out and chain yourself to another false belief. In these 10 pages, she shares a lot of her own personal struggle and journey with false beliefs. So I'm not gonna get into that for today. Again, if you're interested in purchasing the book, I've linked it below. Really, really, really good book. So I highly recommend it. I do think there's an audio version if you're somebody that just wants to listen to the author read her work. But I'm gonna leave you with something that she quoted from the Tao uh, De Ching but I think you pronounce it as Dao, like the Dao. I could be totally wrong about that pronunciation. If you are an expert in the Dao, uh, please comment below, I wanna meet you. But this is, this is the quote that really resonated with me from the Dao. In the pursuit of knowledge, every day something added. In the practice of the Dao or the way, every day something dropped. Less and less do you need to force things until finally you arrive at non-action. When nothing is done, nothing is left undone. I'm just gonna let you sit with that. I thought it was very profound. She makes it clear that you may not understand it, but you may understand it like in your heart. All right, that is it for today. I will see you all tomorrow for day 12. All right, let's talk about my body. So today I woke up with a headache and I wanna kinda take it easy on myself, some self-care, kinda like what I was saying yesterday. I really wanna enact that. I don't have to be perfect every single day and do a killer workout. Uh, and I also wanna show you guys that there's so many other workouts on that Peloton bike. So today I decided to do what is known as a low impact ride, which is a much easier ride. And you'll see the calorie difference is, is a, like a hundred calorie difference. Uh, but I really needed to do that. And then I decided to just like go for a walk after that, just to like make sure I hit my move ring. Now for the meditation, today was a beautiful sunny day. I am going to keep the music low like I did yesterday and I hope that you enjoy meditating with the nature.
Okay, Wednesday, day 11. Read 10 pages. Check. Close the move ring. I barely made it today. I did 655 and the total burn today was 2200. Check. One gallon of water. Check. Today was thankfully a regular day and the total number of calories was 1800. Check. Meditated for five minutes. Check. And then this accountability video. Check. See you all tomorrow for day 12.